Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to another week of me trying to train for a half marathon and complete it in under two hours. Where I left off last week, I was running a lot, three days a week, tried to do some cross training on the indoor bike. Sunday was a cold day, and during the, my long run, two hour run, I hurt my left hamstring, which I thought was my hamstring, but I think it was just a muscle in my thigh in the back because it's feeling a little better now, but we'll see how it goes. So it's Monday, I'm not doing anything today, but planning on getting on the treadmill for a half hour tomorrow and see how this leg is feeling. It's Tuesday and I need to get on the treadmill. It's lunch break, I'm gonna try to hurry up, get a half hour, get it done early. It's 12, 12, so I've been kind of procrastinating. So let me get this half hour on the treadmill done. I'm not gonna go too fast. Usually I do speed on this one, but I'm not gonna do it on this one. I'm just gonna shake it out from Sunday really took its toll. So that didn't work out too well. I had to stop early on this one. My hamstring or thigh cramped up again. The same place that I felt during that long run. It just felt like a knot. It kind of locked my leg up. Let's see. So I did get 22 minutes and 17 seconds in, 2.29 miles, 9.44 was my pace, 284 calories if you're interested. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna have to take it easy. I think I'm gonna have to do some biking because I don't, I have enough time to heal from now to the race, but I don't wanna, I wanna be able to heal. So I'm gonna keep trying to roll this out and uh, hopefully it gets better. visitor. Getting some cross training in. I might be doing a lot more bike riding because my thigh's still bothering me. So, so I might be riding the bike until that gets better. Hopefully, you can hear me. It's a little windy, but it's a beautiful day. Definitely a beautiful day to be outside. I'll get 10 miles. wraps up the ride. Wednesday ride finished. We'll see how my hamstrings feeling tomorrow. Maybe I'll be able to get a run in, but so tomorrow's supposed to be my hour run. I'm kind of getting excited for the nice weather. Feels like it's been a long winter. Guess what day it is? Thursday. Gotta do my hour. Lake's feeling a little better, so I'm gonna try to make it happen. St. Patty's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I'm not gonna wear this hat when I run. We'll wear my green shirt. Oh, I'm so exhausted, but let's get it going. Okay, first mile's done, 11 and a half minutes. First mile, my uh, hamstring is bothering me. Definitely more than when I rode the bike yesterday. I don't know what to do really. This video I was gonna make was gonna be about my training plan, but it looks like that's thrown out the window because my training plan is gonna change because of my hamstring. But at least I can say I got out here into the sun a little bit, got a little exercise in the sun to get used to that, acclimated. I mean, it's only 70 degrees out, so. This 
might turn into some uh, what appears to be cycling training because I think I'm gonna have to spend some time on the bike for cardio. I'm doing a lot of walking and when I do get the jog because I can't really run or my hamstring starts to tighten up and knot up really it feels like it's knotting up like a lump it's mostly affecting me bringing my knee up so I can get a little boot scooting jog going but uh, that's only about 12 minute per mile pace I ain't cutting it and it's very un I don't know it was inefficient very inefficient because uh, I can't get a stride going well time to head home that'll wrap up my run I'll let you know how that goes when I get there that did not pan out so well I don't know if I should stretch or what I should do honestly not a good run I'm gonna stick with a bike for a while and try to rehabilitate and then hopefully I don't lose too much time in my training and I can get running again and trying to work on my pace a little disappointed not so lucky today I mean I was lucky because it was a beautiful day a lot of things to be happy about and Jessica is finishing up some dinner so I'm happy about that too I might take it easy for Friday and Saturday, then maybe do a long bike ride on Sunday. We'll see how things go. So it is Saturday. I took a Friday off, just resting, I think my uh, hamstrings feeling better so that's good but I'm still I'm not pushing it I'm gonna take today off as well but it, today's like the treat day so starting off with some good coffee we've got a white chocolate mocha and uh, gonna get a lot of food today so I'm planning on getting the some Burger King and while well, looking to look into some BCAAs at GNC because it's something I've never used before trying to see if that will help with my inflammation and stuff like that and soreness so we're gonna check that out today too I want Jessica We bought two chairs. This is the situation of how we had to load it in the car. And Jessica's crammed in the back there. So, yeah, that's what we got going on. Okay, we unloaded some stuff at home. Decided to come back out, get some Burger King. I'm gonna try one of these melts out. I was gonna get all three, but I don't think I can eat that much. Plus, weight day didn't go very well. I didn't lose any weight. Actually gained a pound. Don't know how, but I gotta figure out what I want here. So it seems well, I've arrived arrived home and made the mistake of not checking before leaving and I didn't get my melt. The one thing I was looking forward to at Burger King all week was trying out their new melts, the spicy melt in particular. When you have a treat day once a week you really kind of get in your head and plan what you really you know what you want to eat and I was wanting this damn melt so, so I'm driving back. A lot of times we just don't even bother. I know better because it happens all the time. You all know. Don't ever go up to the drive-thru, okay? Always walk up to the counter. You know why? Okay, 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 I'm gonna say, okay. They do at the drive-thru, okay? They do at the drive-thru. They know you're gonna be miles away before you find out you got okay? And they are absolutely packed. Drive-thru packed, inside, had a few people waiting. They were pretty quick getting me my sandwich. So I'm thankful for that. Two things to try out today. One's this spicy melt 
from Burger King. Woo, it is milk. When they mean milk, I guess they mean the cheese. So I'll give you guys a look. Let me wipe. Don't want to get crap all over my. There you go. So. I don't. Okay, there's some jalapenos on there. Jalapeno. Yeah, let's see if there's any stems. <laughs> no, looks like Gus Johnson would be proud. If you get that reference, you're awesome. Okay, let me get in focus. Here we go. So I think it's supposed to have a spicy sauce on it, but it doesn't taste like it. I'm not sure why they call these Whoppers. Does that look anything like a Whopper? Not that much like a Whopper. It's like a... Uh, the patties that you'd get from a uh that's probably the same patty from a uh rodeo burger or whatever you get two of those so, but i like it. it tastes good i'm not a big fan of the onions on here but the jala jalapenos are good not too shabby was it worth my excitement for all week i mean i'm glad i'm eating a burger it's good i worked really hard to get this but, so out of 10 out of fast food burgers i give it a six i've definitely had four other burgers that were better than this so, picked up this Extend Original 7 Grams BCAA Muscle Recovery with Electrolytes. So I think that might be my problem. I need some electrolytes. I need more hydration. And I need muscle recovery for sure. So, this is 30 servings, but uh, you have to do, supposed to do two servings a day so that's 15 days worth and it is kind of pricey it's $30 I'm gonna try one out now and see how it tastes this is the strawberry kiwi splash it does come with a scoop it's the only thing I've ever done really is muscle milk so whatever that I'm not into the science but hopefully this works miracles that's what I'm hoping there's gotta be a reason it's so expensive can't be its fine flavor. Tastes good. We also picked up this, it's like powder, but uh, these Quest Protein, this spicy sweet chili, tortilla style chip. Just got two bags of those. But it's 19 grams of protein for that little bag of chips. So today's been a pretty successful day. Tomorrow's a, I'm gonna try to go for a long bike ride. We'll see how that goes and see how the weather holds out. Wind was really heavy today. Hopefully it's not that bad tomorrow because when you're heavy winds and riding bikes, bad combination most times. And hopefully we don't get much rain, but I'll take a rain jacket just in case I get caught in it. And I'll be sure to take the camera with me and hopefully capture some cool sights. So not a great start. It got rain. So be a little wet today. Got the bike set up, I'm at the trail. This is the panhandle trail. Yes, this is how cool damp it is. It's supposed to be clear by now, but it's not. But we'll see what we get as we go along. minutes in 11.36 miles I'm in uh Burgettstown PA that's how far I made it so another 10 minutes and then I'll probably take a little break and eat a snack and then head back like things are clearing up uh, hopefully next weekend's a little better I'm not having much luck for the long day long workout days on Sunday so I think that's gonna wrap things up this week and I'll see you next time